after the masking, the first step is to uh, get the tail out clean and scratched up for the clear to stick. I'm using 3M5954 real gritty super duty compound. That'll scratch that plastic up and the, the clear will stick good. And it'll also get off any kind of haze and, and residue and stuff that's on this lens and 47 years of, of wear and tear on it. So I'll scratch it up with this first, which is also cleaning it at the same time. This is a, a paint friendly product meaning that if there's any residue left over from it, even after cleaning, it's not going to cause your paint to fall off. So I am going to wipe it clean, but it's not uh, uh, a fisheye-causing product like some polishes and stuff. This is made for paint shop operation. So just give it the the wax on, wax off treatment and rub it and scrub it, and get it good and clean. I'm digging down in the little rocket emblem, the same as what I put on the hood. I mean the trunk, this is the same emblem in the middle of the tail light. So I'm cleaning out the grooves around it and it's got uh, scum and build up in there too. So it all needs to be scrubbed real good. And then the next step is to brush it with a, a brush, cleaning brush, and water, especially in the stuff like this little rocket emblem. There's a lot of nooks and crannies there for the stuff to get into, and all the, the corners of the raised spots get the crap out of them. Got a spot there that won't brush off. I'm going to have to go back at it with some compound because it's like paint or something on there. I don't know what it is, but it's on there good and hard, but I'll scrub it and rub it until it's gone. It'll take a second, but it'll go away. These taillights have cracks down in the plastic that uh, I'm kind of rubbing it a little bit gentle so I don't uh, push it too hard and break it because they are old. I took the quarter panel extensions off to take the taillight lenses out, but the taillight lenses tabs and stuff were broken and they glued it into the housing so the plastic taillight is glued to the metal part and I can't take it apart without breaking it so that's why I left it in the car when I painted it because I couldn't get it out without breaking it and after scrubbing it and getting all the corners and stuff scrubbed then I'll take the cleaner part of my towel that I was using and dry it off get the water off it and then it's time to move to the next step which the next step is pretty much ready to paint so after I wipe these off good then I'll go and mix up our paint and get ready I'm using the FC 720 clear like I use most of the time on just about everything and uh, it's hard to know how much to mix up so I'm going to mix up a little extra so that I don't run out and have to mix candy again I, I hate to do that kind of stuff so i put a little more in it. it seemed like it was a little too a little too little that looks like it ought to be plenty so i have to pull the top off the hardener can because the cap wouldn't unscrew i'm going to use this harbor freight 12 inch ruler and i stick it down in the clear and pull it out and you can see that it's from 12 to 11 inches so one inch so four to one means i need to put a quarter of an inch of hardener in it so i'm gonna pour my hardener now and let you guys get a close-up look at the stick up to 11 and a quarter so it's from 12 to 11 and then from 11 up to 11 and a quarter that's four to one so my mix is good there next step put the candy in it and i am going to make sure and put a good amount of candy in it because i don't want to put more than two wet coats on it 
I'll put my fisheye coat on it, but I don't want to put more than two wet coats on it and make the tail eyes be all orange peely. So here I'm putting in the candy and I'll put in a, a decent amount of candy to make it colorful. Looks nice and red, that's good. It's pretty hot today, so I'm gonna use a little bit of a slow reducer in it because I want not to solve it pop, that's for sure. I'm gonna use the Astro Euro Pro Evo gun on it with a 1.3 tip. I'm blowing out the cracks and stuff around the tail light, make sure the dust and stuff's down the cracks won't come out and get in my clear. And then my next step is gonna to be to take my grease and wax remover and just pour some on a paper towel and give them a good wipe. Like I said, the 5954 Super Duty compound is paint friendly and whatever residue is left is gonna get wiped off now. But if there was a, a minute particle of it or something here or there, it won't cause fish eye because it's uh, paint shop friendly, like I said before. Okay, now I'm ready to give it a good tack in. Make sure any dust that's on the surface is off of there. And then I'll spray my anti-fisheye coat on it, which is one real fast blast to make sure that the uh, film on the surface of the tail light is, is clear that doesn't have any gaps in it. If you put the first coat on wet and there is something that will cause a fish eye, it will cause a fish eye. But when you put that coat on thin, it's not thick enough for a fish eye to form. So let that set up a little bit and then put on a good wet coat. I would call that one medium wet. And then the second coat I'll put on wet, wet because we know that you like it wet, wet. I'm giving it the Mondo Billy examination, playing blind man's bluff, but it's getting pretty shiny, looks pretty good. So the next coat will be even wetter. And I wait for that coat to be uh, not sticky before I spray the next coat. That's a good uh, estimation of flash time is to put your finger on the uh, clear that's on the tape. And if it's not sticky, sticky, if it's a little tacky, you can spray the next coat. But if it moves, like if it's still almost liquid on the tape, then it's not ready for another, another coat yet. And there I'm checking it and it's feeling not tacky much at all. So I'm gonna put good wet coat on it this time. Last coat, good and wet. Now, You'll see that that clear has livened things up a lot. You can see the reflector that's built into the tail light glowing there. So that was harder to see before I put this clear on it. Now it's standing right out there and grabbing you. And the surface itself is nice and shiny and, and wet and looks good. And we'll hand polish that real good when we hand polish the car get everything shined up just so. But you see how much candy is on the tape there. So please touch my like thingy and subscribe, damn it!